Something is happening in the American Southwest. Beneath the endless blue sky and the relentless sun, a slow motion crisis is unfolding, one that will shape the future of millions. Lake Mead, once a shimmering oasis and a symbol of American ambition, is shrinking fast. The water that once seemed limitless is vanishing before our eyes, revealing the consequences of decades of overuse and drought. Its receding shorelines are exposing secrets long buried beneath trillions of gallons of water. As the lake pulls back, it uncovers not just land, but layers of forgotten history and hidden truths. What's emerging isn't just mud and rock. It's a story of our past, a warning for our present, and a glimpse of a possible future. Each crack in the earth is a chapter, each exposed boulder a reminder of what's at stake. The famous bathtub ring on the canyon walls grows taller each week, a stark reminder of how far the reservoir has fallen. These white mineral scars mark the high water line, a ghostly outline of abundance that's slipping away. The promise of endless water and power for a growing nation is cracking. The Hoover Dam, once a marvel of engineering and hope, now stands as a monument to both human ingenuity and hubris. Lake Mead is now a barometer of crisis, and the needle is pointing toward empty. The reservoir's decline is a warning signal, echoing across the southwest and beyond. As the water recedes, ghost towns from the 1930s reappear, and old boats rest on dry earth miles from the current shoreline. These relics are silent witnesses to a time when the lake brimmed with life and promise. More sinister discoveries have surfaced, human remains, some encased in barrels, grim evidence of Las Vegas's mob past. The lake, it seems, has been keeping secrets for decades, and now it's giving them up. Each find is a chilling headline, a puzzle piece and a detective story on a massive scale. Investigators and journalists flock to the scene, piecing together the dark tapestry of the region's history. The clues scattered across the exposed lake bed speak of ambition, violence, and miscalculation. Artifacts from lost communities, forgotten industries, and lives interrupted now lie in the open, waiting to be understood. We thought we had tamed the Colorado River. For generations, we built dams, canals, and cities, believing we could bend nature to our will and secure prosperity forever. Now, nature is reminding us who's really in control. The storms gather, the land cracks, and the river's power asserts itself, indifferent to our plans and promises. The lake is giving up its dead, both literally and figuratively. Skeletons, sunken treasures, and lost memories rise to the surface, forcing us to confront uncomfortable truths. The mystery is no longer what the lake holds, but what we'll do when it's all gone. The future of the Southwest, and perhaps the nation, hangs in the balance as the water disappears. The lake is talking and its message is urgent. It's a call to action, a plea for change, echoing across the cracked earth and empty canyons. Are we ready to listen? The reckoning in the desert has begun, and the choices we make now will echo for generations to come. To understand the crisis, you must first understand the dream. The Colorado River was once wild and unpredictable, making the Southwest nearly uninhabitable. The solution, Hoover Dam, a marvel of engineering, built during the Great Depression. Behind it, Lake Mead formed, the largest man-made reservoir in the U.S. It symbolized progress, turning desert into farmland and powering cities like Las Vegas. For decades, the system worked, water flowed, turbines spun, and cities grew. The assumption was that Rocky Mountain snowmelt would always replenish the lake, but those calculations were based on unusually wet years. No one foresaw the mega drought gripping the region today. The dream was built on water, and now that foundation is crumbling. The flaw in the grand design is exposed. The promise of endless abundance was always an illusion. The evidence of Lake Mead's decline is everywhere. Once a symbol of abundance and recreation, the lake now reveals scars of drought and overuse. The shoreline, which used to welcome boaters and swimmers, has retreated dramatically, leaving behind a landscape that feels wide, alien, and familiar. Ghost towns like St. Thomas, once submerged beneath the lake's surface, are now fully exposed to the sun and wind. Their buildings, silent for decades, stand as monuments to a past that was thought to be lost forever. You can walk among old foundations and rusted farm equipment, remnants of lives uprooted for progress. These artifacts, once hidden underwater, now tell stories of families who left everything behind when the dam was built. Dozens of boats, from pleasure crafts to a W2-era Higgins landing craft, now sit stranded on dry land. Their hulls, once bobbing on gentle waves, are now marooned in the dust, 
silent witnesses to the lake's retreat. These vessels are time capsules, reminders of a lake that once seemed endless. Each one holds memories of laughter, adventure, and the promise of summer days that now feel impossibly distant. But the darkest discoveries are human remains. As the water recedes, it uncovers secrets that were meant to stay hidden. In 2022, a barrel containing a mob victim's skeleton was found in the mud. The story made headlines, a chilling reminder of the lake's shadowy past. More bodies have surfaced, some from decades past. Each discovery reopens old wounds and mysteries, forcing families and investigators to confront the unresolved. Each set of remains brings a reckoning for families and law enforcement. The pain of loss is renewed, and the search for answers begins again. The lake was once a perfect place to hide a crime. Its vast, deep waters swallowed evidence, keeping secrets safe beneath the surface for generations. Now, its receding waters are peeling back layers of time, pioneer settlements, sunken relics, and violent secrets. Every drop lost reveals more of what was hidden. Lake Mead is not just disappearing, it's telling its story, one haunting discovery at a time. The land is reclaiming its history, and the lake's silence is finally being broken. The ghosts are returning, demanding our attention. They remind us that the past is never truly gone. It waits just beneath the surface for its moment to re-emerge. The water is going, but the past is resurfacing. What was once hidden is now impossible to ignore. Are we ready to face it? As Lake Mead vanishes, it asks us to reckon not only with environmental loss, but with the stories and secrets it can no longer keep. As the water drops, new threats emerge from the exposed lake bed. Decades of agricultural runoff and industrial pollutants have settled in the mud, now drying into toxic dust. Desert winds can carry this dust for miles, threatening nearby communities with hazardous air. Scientists warn of long-term health risks from inhaling these poisons. Methane, a potent greenhouse gas, could also be released as organic material decomposes in the exposed mud. This feedback loop, drought shrinking the lake, methane worsening climate change, raises the stakes. The remaining water grows saltier and harder to treat, while harmful algal blooms threaten water supplies. The water isn't just disappearing, what's left is becoming more dangerous. The crisis is as much about what's revealed as what's lost. The Hoover Dam was built to last, but it was designed for a full lake mead. Now dropping water levels threaten its ability to generate power. If the lake falls below dead pool, the turbines stop, cutting off clean energy for millions. The loss of water weight is also shifting the ground raising concerns about seismic activity and structural stress. Engineers are in uncharted territory, monitoring for signs of trouble. The dam's intake towers, aging and stressed, are a potential weak point. While collapse is unlikely, the risk of catastrophic failure grows as the lake shrinks. The dam was built to control a river, not to survive the disappearance of the lake itself. Lake Mead's crisis is a human crisis. Over 25 million people depend on the Colorado River, but water agreements were based on wetter times. Now, states are locked in a bitter fight over shrinking supplies. Arizona and Nevada face painful cuts. Farmers let fields go fallow. Cities impose strict conservation. California, with senior water rights, resists deeper cuts, fueling resentment. The federal government threatens to step in as negotiations stall. The stakes economic collapse, lost livelihoods, and the survival of cities like Phoenix and Las Vegas. The era of unlimited growth is over. The last drops of Lake Mead are the most contested resource in the West. The crisis at Lake Mead is reshaping the land itself. As the lake shrinks, the ground decompresses, causing it to shift, crack, and sink. Fissures and sinkholes threaten roads, pipelines, and buildings. Subsidence puts critical infrastructure at risk of collapse. Scientists watch for earthquakes, triggered by the rapid unloading of water weight. Even minor tremors could damage the aging dam and its intake towers. The landscape is in revolt, a physical manifestation of a broken system. We altered the land to build a lake. Now, as the system fails, the earth is pushing back. The problem isn't just water, it's a landscape in distress. The planet is showing us the stress we've created. Lake Mead is an unintentional time capsule. Each artifact and exposed layer tells a story, from pioneer settlements to mob violence. The barrel with the mob victim's remains is a stark reminder of Las Vegas's dark past. The re-emergence of St. Thomas reveals the cost of progress. Community sacrifice for water and power. 
the lake's falling level is an act of justice, bringing old crimes and forgotten histories to light. Forensic teams race to recover evidence before it's lost again. The sediment layers record our environmental impact, lead, pesticides, pollutants. The exposed bathtub rings and cracked mud are the latest entries in this record. Lake Mead is showing us our history, a cautionary tale written in water and dust. Will we heed its warning? The story of Lake Mead isn't over. It's at a crossroads, teetering between hope and irreversible loss. This vast reservoir, once a symbol of human ingenuity and abundance, now stands as a stark reminder of the limits of our control over nature. One possible future is managed decline, where we make difficult choices, painful cuts to water use, strict conservation, and creative adaptation to a drier world. Communities are already learning to do more with less, finding new ways to survive in the desert's harsh embrace. The other path is far more dire, political gridlock, inaction, and eventual collapse. If we fail to cooperate, the lake could drain to dead pool, leaving behind a landscape of disaster and loss. If we fail to act, millions could lose access to water and power triggering an unprecedented crisis that would ripple far beyond the Southwest, affecting agriculture, cities, and entire economies. Lake Mead's fate is a warning for the world, a preview of what happens when we push natural systems too far, ignoring the delicate balance that sustains us all. For a century, we believed we'd conquered the Colorado River, harnessing its power to build cities and dreams in the desert. But in truth, we only borrowed from it, taking more than it could give. Now, the debt is due, and the river is calling in its loan. The earth is sending a message, written in cracked mud, sun-bleached bone, and the silence where water once flowed. We are part of nature, not its masters. Our fate is tied to the land, the water, and the choices we make together. We cannot ignore these warnings. Every sign, every empty shoreline, is a call to action, a plea for responsibility. We must adapt, innovate, and change, or the future will be written in dust. The choice is ours, and the time to decide is now. Will we listen before it's too late, or will we let the story end in silence and dust?